Plaintiff Tigri Harris dated the defendant for two years. But one morning she woke up and realized she didn't like him anymore. While together, Tigri claimed she maced the defendant because she felt threatened by him. And he had her arrested. She's suing him today for child support. Defendant Charles Fair says he's a stand-up guy and he's heavily involved in his community and his church. Charles claims after he and Tigri broke up, she started harassing the girls he dated. And he insists he was trying to adjust the more than $28,000 arrearage through the courts when Tigri sued him. All right, give me some background. Sir, after two years of dating Charles, I woke up one morning and I figured out that I just didn't like him anymore. He, <laughs> he wasn't for me. Uh, when I woke up, I just remember that Charles is the guy who is about to do something. He's about to get a job. Mm. He's about to go to school. He's about to buy a building to get out of his mother's house. <laughs> he about to get his credit together. Oh. And unfortunately, none of those things never happen. How old are you, sir? Sir, I'm 41 years old. Okay. And that's not true. I met her with Still the Still live at home? No. Okay. You say he lived with his mother? In the basement, yeah. Yeah, he that's said he how doesn't. I met him. That's because I would get how on the bus. How long ago was this? 2000. Okay, well, I would hope that he's still not living there. Perhaps he was in 2000. All right, go ahead. Okay. One day, Charles and I was arguing. I felt threatened by Charles, so I maced him. Charles called the police on me. We went to court, and unfortunately... You were charged? I was charged. Yeah. No, no. I was charged. We went to court. Charles was late, so they dismissed the case. This what? This... Charles once, one time he put sugar in my tank. No, I never. I, Charles no. put sugar in my tank. I never did not, none of that stuff. I, I don't. I'll, I'll steal your car before I take your car and do something <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably did that too, right? And I did, but uh, that's not. I'm sorry. Go ahead. When he was that? This was about 2001. I had my daughter by then. Our daughter by then. Uh, then he came over a couple of hours later talking about, is everything okay? Do you need some help? I'm like... How do you, you know it was him? Because the girl, he went to this girl's house and got some sugar and put it in the can. How do you know all that? How you she... with me? I mean, literally, yeah, how where, where you know was you that? at at that time? All right, sir, I'll let you speak in a minute. How do you know that? Because the woman told me that yeah, that's what she saw. Crazy. You contacted the woman? She ain't lying. This she was our lies. babysitter. Oh, okay. So I knew her. Got it. All right. Yeah. Uh, another time, me and my guy was sitting in my room, and me. I lived on the second floor. This guy, Charles Fair, comes through the window of my second door bedroom, peeks in and said, what's up? We like, yeah, what's up? You what climbed through was the that? window. <laughs> <laughs> this was about 2000 and Never. Three, How'd that end up? Four. <laughs> These are all like. I'm, I'm How did sorry. that end up? Uh, that, that ended conclude? up. Mm -hmm. I left my room. Charles spoke with him, told this guy how I wasn't wasn't no good, and how he should watch out for me. Okay. Oh, Charles left, and I went back to my room. And tell me about the child you all have together. She's fourteen. Okay. She'll be fifteen this year. All right. Charles got. Uh, I put him on child support in 2001. Okay, before we get to the specifics of the child support, sir, you want to give me some background? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. First of all, Your Honor, I'm a stand-up guy. I'm popular in the city, different events, martial arts community, church, and people know me, but they also know my daughter. Why? Because I have her with me all the time. <laughs> After I break up, um, I tried to get back with her. She didn't want to talk to me. I'm starting to work out, doing my thing. She calls me up. She had the weed, the liquor, and she can't even barely cook, but she did have some food there. I came by, this is three weeks later. I come by, we hanging out, we get it back in, I'm back in power again. And so you can use the door. And, and I did, I used the door. I walked through. You have to use the window. Regardless, Yana, what happened was, um, she didn't want to be with me, but we had the baby. And as we're uh, co-parenting this baby. Did she tell you why she didn't want to be with you? She said it's because you were trifling, didn't want to do anything. It was, I'm always going to. Your Honor, when I met her, I was a merchandising rep for a company. Actually, I was even leading crews. I even mm -hmm. got some of the neighborhood guys at $12 an hour, mm -hmm. you know, back then in like, what was this, uh, 99, Hey, why'd you break up? 
uh, basically, she thought I was supposed to be on Bigger and Better. Even though I made money more than she you, did, like, you by eight times. You were working when you all broke up? Yes, I was all working right. when we broke up, and I was working when we met. Okay. So anything else you want to tell me on the background before we get to the specifics of the child yes, support? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. First of all, Your Honor, um, this woman, the, what she's saying is not true. If I'm not supposed to be so much, and I'm not this, that, the other, why would, when I come out with a young lady, her car would be out there? She followed the girl back there. He's a mama's boy. He ain't gonna be this. He's not that. Well, you know, this happened like two or three times. So yes, I did steal a car like three times, and you know, let her know like stop, stop this, cause you Why don't. Why did you want have me. to steal a car to do that? I'm sorry. Why did you have to steal her car to let her know that she shouldn't do that? Because a one, uh, one of the young ladies could either call the police while she's out there, and mm -hmm. one of the young ladies said she was on her bumper bumping her car. Go ahead, tell me about the child support. Judge Mathis, he's paid off and on since uh, 2001 to 2012. The last payment was in 2012 of 115... Last payment. Last payment. 2012, $115.41. How much does he pay a month now? He pays... He's supposed to pay $230.82. He owes me $28,752.73. Mm. You have something to ref reflect on that? What do you have to say to this, sir? Your Honor, I put myself on child support. I, well, like I said when I first met her... No, no, no. Why haven't you paid whatever? You put yourself on, she put you on, however you got on there, you owe 28000 What do you say about that? That just came from gaps of employment, sir. Honestly, it came from gaps of employment. Gaps in employment resulted in $28,000 child support arrearage. Yes, sir. Over the last 14 years, yes, it has. You sat up here and talked real big about your employment. I managed crews. I did. I did this. Mm -hmm. I did that. Exactly. But nobody hired you now? Nobody has hired you? I developed you? a felony after that, sir. Oh, for what? Uh... Stealing cars. <laughs> Stealing cars. Yeah. So do you have a defense today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is it? Basically, Your Honor, up to 2012, I was getting it even taken, child support even taken out of my uh, unemployment. And like I said, I didn't know at the time that you could actually go to appeal to the courts to get uh, a rearage changed. You can't. They can't. won't. But you can apply. Oh. Nobody gonna change what you owe already. I got you. I see what you're saying. You owe $28,000 in child support, and you are an admitted car thief. Was. When was the last time you stole a car? Oh, back in 03. Okay. How many times were you convicted? Just once. All right. And you haven't gotten an expungement? Uh, when I went, they told me that I couldn't get an expungement. Why? They said I had to apply to the judicial... Uh, All right, judicial. why didn't you apply? I did. I still haven't heard anything from them. I and paid since the 2012? No, no, this was 2007 when... Uh, 2007. Dorf haven't so, heard anything since 2007. I have not. Now you're lying. All I right, haven't. go ahead, sir. I still got the same record, y'all. Woo, woo. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> $5,000 is your judgment. Thank he has you. no real defense to owing $28,000 in child support. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. Have a good day. If I can get a rearage changed up and I can get it knocked down some, I will still get on top of making my payments. Um, but you know, I do everything I can in cash right now with what I can do, so... Um, get a job. Get a job. Get a job. Yeah, well, spend some time with your daughter. I spend time with her. She's there now, so... At your yeah. daddy's house there that you don't live there? Okay. Yeah. Hey. All right. What is all said and done, okay. right, man? You, you don't know, live there. Do you live there or not? You have your issues. Do you live there you or not? You have your issues. But you do you live issues. there or not? Do you live at that address Ooh, or Jesus. not? A don't worry about Jesus. me. Worry about you. Yeah. And that 28 G's.